Hey everyone, Scott Irvin here from the Scott Irvin Home Selling Team. It's been a while since I've done a video. Just wanted to reach out to everyone, do a market update. Uh, the reason it's been a while is because the market has been on fire. The real estate market has been crazy since we've gone back to uh, in-person meetings here in Pennsylvania. It's been about uh, two months now that we've been allowed to do that. And since then, we've hit the ground running and we haven't stopped. The market is just going crazy. One of the reasons for that is right now, today, the 30-year uh, fixed rate hit an all-time low. We're about, on average, 2.9% for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Uh, we've never seen that for as long as they've been keeping track of mortgage rates. So that's one of the things that's really fueling the market, along with low inventory, is causing that as well. So we have a lot going on here. I don't want to say it's the perfect storm as far as real estate, but I can say, tell you that you know in the past 22 years that I've been doing this, this is the first time I've seen it this crazy, even before the crash uh, in 2008. So I'm going to go through some numbers with you today. And uh, hopefully that'll help you uh, see where things are headed and where we've been. And uh, also, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. So let's start that here. So what we see here is this here is showing us the weekly inventory. And right now, we are 87.2% lower than we were last year with inventory. Inventory levels are just, they were low already to begin with. They're just super low. And of course, that's one of the things that's fueling the market right now. Here we see the weekly new listings. Um, obviously coming out of the shutdown, they jumped way up. Um, there was a lot of listings, you know, during that time period that obviously couldn't come on the market that came on the market. So it did push us above the 2019 level there. So, uh, listings and of course are coming back down here a little bit now that it's uh, leveled out some. Here's a new purchase contracts. This is house is going under contract. And again, because we had that shutdown, you know, mid March, all the way through mid mid May, um, we shot way back up because there was a lot of pent up demand. So we really had a lot of contracts or properties go under contract um, in the last uh, you know uh, two months roughly that we've been uh, opened up and doing in person meetings. Temporary off market here, you see it spiked way up here when we did the shutdown, and then obviously now it's equaled out. Um, it's went below here for a while because obviously new houses weren't coming on the market, so there wasn't a lot of inventory to take off the market. And here we have the new closed listings again. You're going to see this here um, since we're coming out of the shutdown. That's been trending lower, but all of a sudden now it is starting to spike up as those um, uh, listings or the sale contracts in the pipeline um, get to close. You're going to see that um, start to spike up here a little bit. And last here we have the weekly showings again during the shutdown bottomed out here when we opened back up here on May 11th or thereabouts that week jumped way up here and we see those showings really, you know, really uh, continuing to stay above the 2019 levels. So overall, again, the market has been great, the real estate market. It's great for buyers right now because of those low rates. It is tough because we're seeing multiple offers on every property. And it's great for sellers right now because it is a seller's market. Obviously, it's a good time to put your house in the market because there's not a lot of inventory and there's a lot of buyers out there. If you have any questions about your current situation or your market or your current neighborhood, we'd be more than happy to answer that for you. Or if you're thinking about buying, reach out to us here at 215-918-1920. Take care. We look forward to seeing you next time and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.